A week after his trial was told at the Federal High Court in Abuja, the former national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Dr. Haliru Bello, arrived the court in an ambulance, after which he was carried into the courtroom in a wheelchair. Dr. Bello is facing charges of corruption along with his son Ahmed Bello Mohammed and their company BAM Ventures. The prosecution alleges that the accused persons received the sum of 300 million naira from the office of the former National Security Advisor Colonel Sambo Dasuki under the guise of funding a safe house project, but the money was used for political campaigns, which amounts to a criminal breach of trust. The two accused persons pleaded not guilty to the charges. The prosecutor, Aliu Youssef, opposed the accused person's application for bail on the grounds that they might jump bail and interfere with investigations by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Under our laws, the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, and the provisions of other extant laws, the third defendant, Dr. Bello, is entitled to bail. And the prosecution has not placed any material or sufficient material before the court to suggest otherwise. The application has uh, been moved, it has been adjourned for ruling. We we'll keep our fingers crossed and await uh, the, the, the decision of uh, the court on the bail application. Justice Ahmed Mohammed has adjourned ruling in the bail application to the 7th of January 2016. He directed the Inspector General of Police to supervise the treatment of the former PDP chairman at the Abuja clinics and remanded his son at the Kujay prison pending the determination of their bail application. Amaka Okafo, Channels Television News.